Good afternoon. Jeff Raspi here with you on 90.5, the Night Brookdale Public Radio. And I've got our old friend Michael Squillace here with us. <laughs> I pride myself on making sure I'm pronouncing people's names correctly. Uh, Michael, you may remember, has been here uh, a few times before to talk about uh, this benefit concert that he puts together every year called Jammin' for Jacqueline. Uh, and this, I see from the poster, is the eighth annual, which means I guess this might be the seventh time that you've been here because we couldn't do it last year. Um, I, th I think it was less than that. I mean, I was, I was with several other people with you, mm -hmm. but not always for the benefit. Okay. I think ah, okay, that's true. Yeah. Yep. I, I think we probably were together. I think I've been on the on, on the um show probably seven times, but a couple with other people. Right. And not necessarily just for yeah. the Jammin' for Jacqueline show. So uh by way of introduction, Michael is a is a uh woodwind player, right? Yes, sir. Did we yeah, say clarinet that, we say it that way? Clarinet yeah. sax. Yeah. Who plays with a lot of local artists in the area, um, which is funny. I've joked with people over the years that if you play something quote unquote odd, you'll get a lot of work. Yeah, that's that's accurate. <laughs> I mean, even even more so uh, with with uh, so sax. Of course, I mean there there are more p people playing sax than than uh, but clarinet now. You know, kind of puts me streamlined right there, man. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> So a uh, little bit of background for Jammin' for Jacqueline. Jacqueline was your sister, and you started these benefit shows to benefit her. Um, and what, what the, the Jammin' for Jacqueline shows do is they, um, they raise funds for a particular or two or three uh, local Jersey, Central Jersey area folks who happen to be dealing with cancer at the moment and and the original one was your sister um so but every year you pick different people and it got me thinking earlier uh and we may or may not have talked about this on the air before but how does the organization jam it for jacqueline decide who's going to be the beneficiary each year and and i, and I will say each year because last year and this year two very different odd years yeah. you guys have figured out a way to do the show anyway yeah so um so how we go about choosing is is well it, it, it's different sometimes it's uh you know we we hear you know our, our a close friend or something you know and, and and they reach out or we have a friend that has a friend that reaches out it's always via friend friend of the family you know what i mean it's 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 you know and then there's a whole process you got to go through because you got to make sure you know people are legit unfortunately yeah. you know people um can can like fake stuff and you know so we we got to go through a little process um after we say you know so we do a little thing where we it's kind of our ritual which unfortunately we couldn't do this year but we, we did it virtually but it wasn't the same um, where we sit them down at our table, at our dinner table, like we did for all the past beneficiaries. And it's like, it's, it's kind of emotional because it, it's, you remember the ones that, uh, the people that, that have passed that, that you remember that moment you were sitting at a, you know, the dinner table is a, a very, yeah. you know, family, it's very emotional place. You know, you have birthday parties there, you have, you know, anniversary you know all these yep. special moments and then you're bringing this this family in you know and that's why we are always saying like jamming for jacqueline is a family is because we really do feel that way and and that i feel like that's our ritual is like bringing them to our dinner table and saying yes you know we've chosen you we're gonna help you we're gonna throw this party for you and we're welcoming you into our family you know um that uh, process that um and uh, yeah, I mean, we, we've been lucky to have some really great people we supported. Absolutely. And then on top of that, you have, uh, and I'm, I'm amazed by it every year, the amount of support from area, you know, Central Jersey area businesses that yeah. when, when, it's a, when it's a real live event, yeah. that venue, you know, 
there's food as far as the eye can see. Yep. <laughs> Obviously, there's there are the people who get to go to the event and enjoy all the music, um, you know, and and the fifty fifties and the raffles and and all the other stuff. Which again, unfortunately, this is the second time that you've had to do everything virtually. Uh, so, but you you've like last year, you you've kind of figured out a way to include everything except the food. <laughs> yeah. So, um, like you know, last year we had uh, this like a little thing, like kind of like if you if you call up these restaurants, we we'll have like a you know a handful of them. Uh, you mention Jam for Jacqueline, and then you'll uh, get a discount. Um, I, you know, I don't think we're going to be doing that this year, uh, just because everybody's hit so hard with you know what's going on. Um, but uh, yeah, the, it's the only thing that we're not having right now is is yeah is the food. But that was a big part of it. But you know what? I think last year we were so successful. Um, uh, we had the second highest, uh, raised the second highest amount. Really? With, uh, I have the number right here. It's $35,260. Um, yeah, it was a, it, the second highest amount we've, we've ever raised, um, during a pandemic, you know? Right. So it's incredible to see people are struggling and they still help other people struggling. You know what I mean? And I think that was really awesome to see. Um, um yeah but you know we're still gonna have i i love this lineup you know i i do i miss our our live lineup but i do love this lineup as uh, you know and i you know i wish i had like more time but you know how it is man like yeah <laughs> i can't fit every and and uh, the more you cut the more time you cut out of people's sets and then right. you know people want to perform you know so it's I, oh it's believe really me, i've yeah i've been in that position where you know you you throw out a net to whatever 25 artists thinking you might get four yeah. and then 25 say oh, yeah, 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 be yeah. There. yeah but that's an <laughs> awesome thing man like that's it, i mean been, it's a good problem to have but then you're like it's okay tough. everyone said is six minutes long <laughs> yeah or you have to, or you have to choose and say, "Hey, next year I'm gonna have you guys. This year I'm gonna have that." And then some people, you know, you hope people, no, people don't get upset. Um, I've had if you if you have to say no, you're like, okay, uh, I'm just gonna have to go with the first eight who said yes. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, the first ones that yeah yeah exactly. I mean, there, there's I I've had um, and we've had that wonderful problem like you said since the beginning. Like we've. And that, I think that's amazing. Like, it's so awesome. And I, I, I want those people to know we appreciate them so much because, like, they're, you know, that the area, the scene, man, is huge and just full of great artists. And to have all of them perform, it would be a festival. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, 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 I, and I, 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 can't, I can't run a festival. So maybe someday. Yeah. So, but um, not right now. But um, I'm definitely really appreciative, and we're definitely really appreciative of of the the past, present, and then the future um, artists that we have. Absolutely, and and we we will in a second run through who's performing virtually this coming weekend because we haven't actually said yet when the event. Yes. Is. The event is coming up Saturday, June twelfth, online. Uh, the the easiest thing to do is to start at jamminforjacklin.org. And if you're wondering, that's jammin, J-A-M-M-I-N, no G, for, F-O-R, Jacklin, J-A-C-L-Y-N.org. Jamminforjacklin.org. If you go there, you'll be pointed in the right direction for any questions you have. Uh, the show itself is going to be on the Jammin' for Jacqueline Facebook page, Facebook Live. But if it's easier, just start at Jammin' for Jacqueline and go from there. Uh, Saturday at 7. And I guess that's the other thing. is <laughs> you, you actually get to end at a reasonable hour. Yeah, when yeah. Virtual. <laughs> when it's virtual, yeah, because it just, it just <laughs> cuts off. Normally, you know, you know, with, with with the bands that we have, they like to jam sometimes, and which I love, you know. But um, but for here, it's very concise, and also, especially because at the end of the night, that's when we're drawing the fifty-fifty. Um, it kind of makes it a little bit more, uh, you know, dead stop. You know what I mean? But um, 
but yeah, no, it's, it's good. Um, it, last year we had the same time um, limit and, uh, it, you know, it went real smooth. Um, and it was the first time running, uh, first time for me ever running a virtual show. Jay Tavel helped me immensely. Um, uh, you know, and, uh, you know he but he does it all the time so it's like cake for him me i'm like running around, i'm running around just like i'm running around yeah. inside the building Absolutely. you know what i mean you know so um but i'm i was happy with it the flow was really nice everybody performed really wonderfully and um you know i, I I'm, I'm i'm really excited for this one yeah cool and and thankfully you just uh name dropped there jake tavel and we have a couple of tunes from jake that he's going to let us play today on the air and uh we may as well go to the first one now yeah it's, uh jake tavel who's one of the folks performing saturday night at the virtual jamming for jacqueline benefit on facebook live this is jake tavel on 90.5 the night brookdale public radio did you enjoy this simulation did you have fun in what you painted did you find love or something different about a home are you a parent don't worry about them it's just your time to go now they'll be fine no one's kicking them out of your mind they'll grow in Prosper outside of time, they'll meet you after. Bye. When day breaks and you're a whole world away, there's nothing that blood could say. I'm not gonna tell you that it's easy Life's so damn hard, so why is leaving? I'm not a god, I'm just a feeling A whispered sense of kneeling Can you hear the bells? I hear them ringing Calling you close, I hear them singing Joining the choir of the Dawn of your beginning by when day breaks and you're a whole world away, there's nothing that blood could say. to this is it a calming feeling spot a water colored starling if you find hope in what you're seeing maybe they don't understand you leaving 
That's some new music from Jake Tavel here on 90.5 The Night, Brookdale Public Radio. Jeff Raspi here with Michael Squilache. Michael is a area musician who is also one of the organizers of the Jammin' for Jacqueline benefits every year. Uh, normally in an actual space, in an actual place with live people, live bands. <laughs> but uh, for the second year, unfortunately, it's, it's a virtual event this year. Uh, but that doesn't mean it's it's not as much fun. The only thing is you won't go home with leftovers when yeah. uh, when it's a virtual event. Um, so we and we just heard from Jake Tavel, who is definitely one of the folks performing Saturday night at seven is when it starts on uh, the Jammin for Jacqueline Facebook page. Uh, go to jamminforjacqueline.org to start, uh, and that that's the website. It'll point you in the right direction if you go there first. Um, all, now you've got some folks who have played with you before at these events, like Taylor Tote and Nick Ryan. Yep. Um, now, and I think I've asked this in years past, do you play with everyone who ends up at a Jammin' for Jacqueline show? Uh, so, <laughs> so live, usually I get... Um, I don't want to say roped into it, but <laughs> I get, so I have my, they don't twist your arm. My, they don't twist your arm very hard. No, <laughs> a couple of times I've gotten twisted pretty hard um, because I was, because dude, it's hard, man. We go, we used to go, um, you know, three 30 to like 1.00 AM Yeah. to play that amount of time is killer on the chops, man. But like, you know what? The adrenaline's going and, and it, it it's so fun and I'm so happy to play. The heat of the moment. moment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And it, I, I, didn't, I don't regret that at all. At the end of the day, I'm half alive. <laughs> but you know what? Like, you just, you, you got that, you know, that feeling, you know, you're just, you kind of want to play some more, you yeah. know, but even though your mouth says no, <laughs> you have to say no, you know, your, your mind is still alive, you're awake, you know, um, the same way after any other gig, only quadruple the amount of time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, um, but, but so, here, I, you know, I, I, so, I, go ahead. So Taylor, Nick, and Jake are people that you have actually performed and recorded with. I haven't recorded with Taylor. Ah, uh, I've okay. recorded with Nick. I've recorded with Jake. I've recorded with uh, Fern, who's also going to be on there. Oh, Fern. I've recorded with Levy. Uh, yeah. Levy Oaken. Yeah. Yeah. The Levy and the Oaks. Um, yeah. Who else uh, did I perform with? I think that's all that uh, I think that's all that I recorded with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, th those are the only ones that I've recorded with. I've performed with Taylor, but I've never recorded with it. Okay, okay. So so far we've covered Fern. That's Matt Fernicola from the fo the the foes, foes of Fern. Fern. That's uh, Levy Oaken from Levy and the Oaks. Jake Tavel, who we just heard from. Nick Ryan from Nick Ryan and the Mess, and Taylor Tote. And in between all of those folks, I guess these are these are some new folks to be a part of the Jammin' for Jacqueline family. You've got yes. Yeah, so, uh, go ahead. Uh, no, I was going to say you've got uh, uh, Sof. Yep. Who uh, S O F used to be Sophia. Now it's just Sof. <laughs> uh, Natalie Farrell and Sahara Moon. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did eight. I miss count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's eight. It's yeah. eight performers this year. Uh, Fern, Levy, Soph, Taylor Tote, Nick Ryan, Jake Tavel, Sahara Moon, and Natalie Farrell. And as we were saying earlier, you probably didn't have to try real hard, um, even for the new newbies, the noobs, that you're bringing in to uh, to get them to agree to do the show. In fact, I would bet they would have all much rather preferred actually going someplace and playing live in front of people. Although can't couldn't quite do it this year, and so you're going to have everybody uh, performing virtually, I guess, from yeah. their homes. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, yeah, everybody's going to be doing it from their homes or wherever it's their studios or whatever it might be. Um, I know last year everybody did it from their homes. Um, but, uh, you know, 
like we were saying, it's just, it's, it's, so it's hard, you know, to, to anticipate, you, you can't anticipate right. everything opening up. Um, you know, uh, yeah, less there, was, there were no start dates. There were no end dates for this. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> it's tough, but you know what? We, we just, you know, at the end of last year's event, we just said, you know what? We don't know what's going to happen next year. Let's just focus on, on making this virtual event the way we focus on our live event and make that 110 percent better every year let's do that with this this virtual one and um and and i think you're going to see that i mean even though last year i loved it um but we're you know i think this this is going to be uh a little tweaked you know what i mean we have a a year under our belts and and that that always is a good thing yeah yeah i mean after you do the first one you figure out what what kind of worked what kind of didn't work um i mean we've we've all had a year of dealing with you know, Zoom meetings and live streams and stuff like that. So there, I mean, I'm sure everyone is always uh, coming across a new piece of software or a new platform and you go, oh, that would have made my event six months ago much easier, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, so it's, it's weird that this, <laughs> the last uh, year and a half or so that we've had to deal with has, uh, has gotten us all immersed in the uh in the kind of virtual world that i that i guess you know gamers and vrs have it's not new right <laughs> have have you know been preparing us <laughs> for <laughs> yeah. yeah i mean i mean i know i learned i i you know that's that's what everybody keeps asking me is like what did you gain positively from from this well, the number one thing was uh, to see how many people that still supported yeah. somebody fighting cancer during a pandemic when they, you know, some they may have lo- been laid off or lost their job. They were still, you know, and, and, and I think that's amazing. And then the number two is a million times different and not even close to how awesome that is. It's just, I learned so many w- more virtual things, you know, yeah. I got a whole, um, you know, my, my recording set up at home here, you know, if I, I need be, um, th- that's something I did not have, you know, uh, right. professionally. Um, a year ago, um, now I do, and I'm really happy about that. Um, you know, and now I'm, you know, working on, you know, my home recording stuff uh, with the help of Jake Tavel, of course, because <laughs> you know, and and many other cats that just, you know, do that all the time. But um, yeah, I mean, I, you know, there, we got to take the positives from 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 this, you know, um, because you know, other, otherwise we can't move forward, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so the upcoming show, Jammin' for Jacqueline, is this coming Saturday, the 12th of June, starting at 7 p.m., going until 10.30. Hard oh, or ish? Ish. I, I mean, you know, like, <laughs> you know how it is, man. It's like, you know what? I'm going to say, I'm going to say ish being like a 10.45. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's just that's just if somebody goes bantering on or or yeah. you know <laughs> uh special guests taylor tote nick ryan jake tavel sahara moon natalie farrell uh fern leviokin soph all taking part in the jamming for jacqueline and we should probably just take a moment and mention who is this year's uh beneficiary of the proceeds from jamming for jacqueline uh, some years you have more than one. Uh, this year it's or this particular year it's it's just one, and that's okay. Uh, yeah. So it's it's somebody who is from the area, battling cancer, and um, I guess somebody that they know must have approached you guys and said, "Hey, how about?" Yeah. So um, so it's Brian De Silva. His is his name. He's he's battling uh, pancreatic cancer, and um, it's uh uh. The, uh you know, super sweet guy. Um, I'm really happy to be helping him. Um, we chose one person this year just because we didn't know, you know, there's so many businesses out and th- we didn't know what the outcome was going to be to have two families. And then you know, they, they expect, you know, this, this, this huge amount. And, you know, so we, we said, let's just focus on one family and hopefully we could get to that number, that, that sweet spot, you know? Um, and, uh, uh, you know, he's, he's a really great guy. Um, actually, Fern um, is the one who reached out to me and yeah. um, because he it's his cousin's best friend. Oh, um, OK. So, yeah. So I was like I said, 
we don't have anybody right now. Um, let's talk about it with the family. I'll talk, I'll, I'll give you a call back. And he said, great, no pressure, no pressure. He was super sweet about it. He, you know, he was, you know, firm. And, um, and I was like, no, no, no. I said, listen, we, we got, we do a whole family process. You know, we do that dinner table thing and we do all that, you know, whatever. Um, and then I got back to him after some time, we, we all spoke about it. And, uh, we had like this little virtual, um, meeting, you know, with the computer at the dinner table. So it was kind of, you know, we still were at the dinner table. And, um, and after that, I, I, I told him, I said, Hey man, we're going to be doing it for your buddy. And, and he was all, he's really excited. So, um, and his cousin is super excited and super helpful. Um, you know, so actually he's, um, he, they're doing the, that, uh, they did the uh Zeke dental jam right this past yeah. weekend yeah 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 yeah. and um yeah so just a really really solid group you know um i've seen just like so many supportive messages you know coming through and i love that you know we've seen it with the other families of course yeah it's just, every year it, it hits you it's like you it's almost it's not like you forget but it's it's like renewed you know what i mean and yeah. and i love i can't get over that it's the same with my sister every year she didn't she couldn't believe how many people would come out for her that didn't know her you know right. and I feel like it, it's hit it hits me you know the same way yeah and I think that's that's the the weird intangible thing about uh and especially over the last whatever 20 30 years um the, you know the idea of kind of the 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 music centered benefit fundraiser kind of thing because uh, to, to the best of my knowledge it wasn't really a thing until maybe live aid band aid um but now it's just kind of like you know oh you know something horrible happened we need to raise money let's call a bunch of musicians not for money because they don't have any yeah. but <laughs> but if we put a show together with them some folks with some money will show up yeah. um it is kind of ironic, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's one of those things where, and, and, you know, we, we do it, you know, I've, I've been a part of, you know, more benefits than I can count now. And, you know, we, we do a lot tr to try and raise money for the radio station as well and stuff. And it's, it's always really, really heartwarming to, to get the reaction from, like you said, people you don't know. Yeah. And, and for your show, it's even more personal. You know, it's, it's people showing up to raise money for a particular person that yeah. they don't know, but they just know they have cancer. They're having a tough time. I mean, at this point, I think everyone has had somebody in their yeah, family. Yeah. So that definitely, you know, hits people. So, um, you know, kudos again, you know, I say this every year, I'm sure kudos to you and your family that uh even even after you did the first one for your sister that you've you're about to do your eighth one yeah. and and you've opened, you. and you've opened it up to you know you know friends of friends or friends yeah. uh, <laughs> families who are who are going through the same thing because because i mean your family went through it firsthand so yeah. you 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 guys kind of all know what each of those families is going through and dealing with. Yeah. I mean, you know, that's the other thing is we always say, you know, reach out to us. It's not just about, and, and you know, this, it's not just the financial thing. It's the family thing. It's the, we, we, you know, we know, we might know something that's going on, like some, you know, personal thing that happens when you go through chemo or, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Some stuff like that. You know, my sister was back and forth, you know, it wasn't just one time and then, you know, you know, it was, she was back and forth with so many different things, radiation, chemo, uh, the, all these craziness, you know, and, uh, you know, so if we can offer any type of things that aside from the financial stuff, if we could offer any type of family support, you know, um, yeah. any knowledge, small pieces or large, um, you know, or just a, a shoulder to cry on or somebody to talk to, that's what we're here for. Um, yeah, you know, and especially if it's a family who this is the first time, yeah, they, yeah, they're dealing with it because you know, every you know, pretty much everything that comes up in chronological order that first time you've never dealt with before, so it's got to help 
to be able to talk to somebody or another family that has gone through it. Yeah. I mean, that's a whole nother benefit for it on its own. I mean, you know, uh, yeah. uh, you know, and I, and I know there are organizations like that. And of course, I mean, there are people that do that professionally, but I mean, you know, the, the, it's, it's one, like you said, when you personally go through it, you know um, yeah, I mean, you, you know, I, we, we want everybody to know it's, it's, it, it is, this is a, 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 like a party, a support system. This is a, you know, look, see how many people have your back, you know, to fight. And and that's uh, something we're real proud of um, every year. We, we just, you know, it's not just a financial thing, but it, it also is, yeah. but it's, you know, it, it, it's, it's just, you know, it's both sides and, and, you know, I, 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 we're really proud of that aspect of it. And we really, we hope, you know, the, the, our, and we know our beneficiaries are appreciative of it. Yeah. And um, yeah. we love to see that, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just, you know. And it's, and yeah, you're right. It, I mean, obviously the financial part of it is a huge part of it, but, and that's, it's great that you're, you've, you guys have continued to do these, these shows to try and alleviate some of the, I mean, even, even the, the best year ever, of jamming for Jacqueline and however much money that raised was undoubtedly a drop in the bucket to the real bill of yeah. somebody, somebody who has cancer. Yeah. But, you know, that's certainly one of those moments when every little bit helps. Yeah. I, I mean, people don't realize that little things that, uh, you know, until you're going through it, the little things that you got to pay for parking, parking, um, you know, you're going to New York city, you got to park, you got to park. The hospital's not gonna pay for it. Right. You know, what happens if you got to stay there for a few days, you gotta, you know, um, you know, you bouncing around it, you gotta stay in hotels, you know, um, little things like that, you know, the gas to drive there, the tickets to go there. These are all things that people don't think about that add up like crazy, you know? And, um, you know, you know, so many other things that I can't even, it, you know, I just, yeah. we, we, we keep talking about it, but yeah. Um, yeah, man, there, there are a, a, a crazy, if we can alleviate one little yeah. amount of that, 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 then that, then we did our job, you know? And that's, and that, and, and if that is the least that it, that the shows do and the benefits do, then, you know, pat on the back, you guys are all doing a great job. Uh, the eighth annual Jammin' for Jacqueline show is coming up this Saturday, starting at seven o'clock. It's a virtual show. Um, my guest has been Michael Squalache, an area uh, saxophone and clarinetist who uh, has played with a lot of your favorite local artists, for sure. Um, and he's come on the air with me almost every year for the Jammin' for Jacqueline show. Um, and actually, it's, it's fun. <laughs> A second ago, when I said it happening virtually again, it reminded me that of something that um, myself and a few other folks did not see coming when we've done virtual fundraiser slash benefits over the last year and a half or so is that there's no capacity. Yeah. You like you know, if you do the show in a venue, you can only allow X number of people in. Yeah. When it's virtual, it's open essentially to the entire world. Mm -hmm. And even if you can only donate, say, $10, yeah. the viewing audience is 10, 12, 15 times larger than would have been able to be in a venue. Yeah, you're going to raise even more money than if you've done it in person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, which is yeah. a weird thing, but yeah, it's, uh, it's it's definitely interesting the way. Yeah, I I mean I, we're 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 happy to be able to like I'm sure you are like to be able to reach oh well you're you you're able to reach people all over all over the area. Mm -hmm. I mean, but you know, going along with what you're saying. You know, I, I don't I don't have to worry about my friends in California not being able not to, being, you know, yep. you know what I mean? And, and uh, uh, you know, the, granted, there there is a time difference, but you, you know what? This stays this stays up there. We're going to yep. leave it up there so you can, you know, if you missed it, 
you know, you can go back on it. And that's the other thing. Yeah. You know. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know so, what? Suppose somebody said, oh, man, it's, it's this Saturday. I can't go. Oh, it's virtual. <laughs> you can yeah. watch it Sunday. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can't have that excuse anymore. Yeah. <laughs> We've eliminated that one. <laughs> you, there's no more interested. It's going at some point. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I'm as, I'm as guilty of it as anybody else. There are a lot no, of things. No, no, yeah, I'm messing, I'm messing You know, yeah. I've, I've bought a whole bunch of, you know, tickets for live streams that I knew I couldn't see live because I was going to be at work. Or I was going to be somewhere. But if I know it's going to be up for, uh, you know, a week or indefinitely, but, all right, I can watch it. Yeah over the weekend or i can watch it some other night cool uh michael squalache as always thank you so much for coming by and uh, hanging out with us here at 90.5 tonight and as well thank you for always um continuing with the jamming for jacqueline uh series of benefit shows and as as i say at other um benefits for health reasons hopefully someday you'll be able to do it just to have a good time yeah. and not have to try and raise money for, for something or someone. Yeah, hopefully I do remember <laughs> you saying that every year and I do agree with you. <laughs> um, we, we do hope so, but for now, you know, we do what we got to do and, 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 and thank you to the community and thank you for having me and all the media that, that helps us, you know, help other people. Yeah. And it, I mean, it's just, you know, it's, it's kind of our job to get the word out. It's uh Saturday, 7 o'clock, go to jamminforjacqueline.org, J-A-M-M-I, did I say that right? J-A-M-M-I-N-4-F-O-R, mm -hmm. Jacqueline, J-A-C-L-Y-N.org. That will point you in the direction of where the show is going to be. And if you can't make it Saturday night, like we just said, it will stay up on the website and and on the facebook page you can watch it later um a whole bunch of great locals fern levy uh soph natalie farrell sahara moon jake tavel nick ryan taylor tote all raising money for your beneficiary this year brian da silva who's been battling uh pancreatic cancer and speaking of jake We'll wrap things up with another track that Jake Tavel was kind enough to send us here at 90.5 The Night. Now, on Saturday night, if he tries to send you these two songs again, tell him, dude, come on, you sent those to Jeff. You got to give me new stuff. Yep, that's it. <laughs> You're going to hear it. He's going to hear it. <laughs> cool. So Saturday night, 7 o'clock, jamming for Jacqueline. Maybe 2022, we'll uh, be able to do it uh, live and in person somewhere again. And, you know, not for nothing. Now that we've all spent a year and a half figuring out how to do live streams, even if you do it live and in person next year, you can set up a camera or a laptop or a phone somewhere and still stream it to the rest of the world. Yeah, we were thinking about doing that, la uh, not last, uh, th uh, the year prior to, funny enough, uh, not funny, haha, -ha, but um, <laughs> ironic enough. And um, yeah, it's it's a lot of work. It is. It's a lot of work. Yeah, yeah, especially when you get the sound and then we have, we also have videographers, you know, so it's 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 tough. But yeah, I mean, you know, we're all, we, we have a year, like you said, a year and a half of doing this. <laughs> um, we're all pros now. So, <laughs> you know, who knows? <laughs> yeah. 2022 hopefully you get no more capacities at any venue and never again <laughs> <laughs> once it actually sells out you turn on a computer and then uh and then the rest of the world can join that's it uh saturday night seven o'clock jamming for jacqueline start at jamming for jacqueline.org you'll find uh I'm, now you're gonna be on saturday am i am i gonna be on like are you gonna be visual you know hosting playing with yeah. anybody yeah so my face will be there i don't know <laughs> if i'm going to be playing i i might have to stay the home den here mm -hmm. make sure everything is going down direct jake, it. you gotta yeah, direct it. jake's gonna be taking care of it on his other end um so it i i might just be just saying hey guys you know what i mean <laughs> or maybe i'll be playing i don't know who knows you gotta tune in <laughs> that's right you gotta tune in 
And uh, like we said, here's another tune from Jake Tavel on 90.5 and I at Brookdale Public Radio. Walk with me slowly. I'll be your eyes in the darkness. It soothes me, makes me feel safe in the night and the moonlight. Let's me know that I'm alive, so I howl. That's how I tell you to walk with me slowly. I'll be your eyes in the darkness. It soothes me, makes me feel safe in Change. 